Welcome to our video on key clock tutorial presented by Mahmoud Niaz from IT Pro Guide. In this section, we will dive into the core concepts of key clock, including realm, users, group, etc. So this is going to help you to explore how they form the backbone of security and authorization for your application using key clock. Let's begin with a realm. A realm in key clock is a isolated domain that hosts its own set of users, roles, clients and identity providers. The best way to say is it is the foundation upon which security and access management is built. You know about Microsoft Active Directory. The first thing that you do is create a domain. Then you create users, groups, policies, etc. The same way, a realm is like a kingdom where the king or the admin oversees everything from users to application within its boundary. So here in the picture, we see master realm, which is only for the key clock management. Then I put another box with separate users and application. So realm is like a container or we can call it as a boundary for apps and users. Let's talk about master realm, which is automatically created once you set up a key clock. And this is the control center where the administrator account belongs to. So once you set up your uh, key clock, then this is automatically there. You just need to sign in with your admin account. Then you will see a master realm and your admin account. So while the master realm is the most powerful one, which have uh, an administrator account, which can do a lot of tasks related to management, it is best practice to use it as only for the admin related task. So don't create application users inside the master realm. So how you manage other application users? Yeah, when you first log in, you are typically in the master realm. From there, you can create separate realms for different stakeholders, such as in the example I show IT Pro Guide. So I create a separate realm, then I create users and application inside. So who are users in key clock? Users are the individuals you, who can access applications protected by key clock. So each user gonna belongs to a realm and he have a credential for authentication. Users can also have uh, custom attributes like a phone number or addresses. So if you want to authenticate one application and then you have to create users in the key clock under one of the realm, then the application can authenticate against the key clock for that user. Next is about groups. In key clock groups helps to organize users. A group can represent a department or let's say a membership level or a kind of a project teams like that. So users assigned to a group inherit the roles and attributes defined for that group. This is gonna make your life easier. If you want to assign a particular role, you can categorize the users into a group, then you can assign that role into that group instead of going to each user and changing the roles or adding the attributes to that particular users. Then finally we have clients. So clients are the entities like web application or mobile application that require user authentication using key clock. So these applications we add as client then once you complete the configuration with one of the protocols like open id connect or oauth then you define the roles and scopes then the web application will grab the credentials send it to key clock then key clock responds based on the protocol that they are configured then the client application will have the uh, token and the expiry and the roles and scopes then based on that the client application uh, can show the permissible actions for the authenticated users. Now let's summarize what we have learned and how they are related. 
So the realm uses groups and clients in key clock form the foundation of its uh, security and authorization model. So it's very important to understand about a realm users and client. A realm which act as a container then users groups and clients everything that uh, comes inside the realm. Users authenticate within a realm and it can be also organized into groups for the uh, to simplify management and role assignments. Then clients Think about a web application that relay your key clock realm for user authentication. Very simple. What we have learned is just an overview. We have a lots of hands-on coming. So that gonna make you strong in key clock and also give you more practical ideas about it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.